Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Christ Church on this third Wednesday of Advent. The service of morning prayer rite two begins on page 75 in the Book of Common Prayer. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. Now to page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess that we have sinned, sinned against you in thought, thought word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Now please stand. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall, shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. As, as it was in the beginning, beginning it is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, Come let us adore him. him. And now uh, the Benite on page 82. Come let us sing to the Lord. Let, let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. salvation. Let, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his, his hand are the caverns of the earth. earth. And the, and the heights, heights of the hills, hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our King and Savior now draws near. Come, let us adore him. Please be seated. <clears throat> That portion of the Psalter appointed for today is on page 767, page 767 in the Book of Common Prayer, uh, Psalm 119, Psalm 119, verses 49 to 72, on page 767 in the Book of Common Prayer. <clears throat> Let us read these psalms responsively by whole verse. Remember your word to your servant, because you have given me hope. This is my comfort in my trouble, that your promise gives me life. The proud have derided me cruelly, but I have not turned from your law. When I remember your judgments of old, O Lord, I take great comfort. I am filled with a burning rage because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been like songs to me, wherever I've lived as a stranger. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and dwell upon your law. This is how it has been with me, because I have kept your commandments. You only are my portion, O Lord. I have promised to keep your words. I entreat you with all my heart, be merciful to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and turned my feet toward your decrees. I hasten and do not tarry to keep your commandments. Though the cords of the wicked entangle me, I do not forget your law. At midnight I will rise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those who keep your commandments. The earth, O Lord, is full of your love. Instruct me in your statutes. O Lord, you have dealt graciously with your servant according to your word. Teach me discernment and knowledge, for I have believed in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good, and you bring forth good. Instruct me in your statutes. The proud have smeared me with lies but I will keep your commandments with my whole heart. Their heart is gross and fat, 
But my delight is in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is dearer to me than thousands in gold and silver. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, and to the Son, and to the, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Zechariah, beginning at chapter 3, verse 1. Then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to accuse him. And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, O Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is not his a brand plucked from the fire? Now Joshua was standing before the angel clothed with filthy garments, and the angel said to those who were standing before him, remove, remove the filthy garments from him. To him he said, Behold, I have taken your iniquity away from you, and I will clothe you with rich apparel. And I said, Let them put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord was standing by. And the angel of the Lord enjoined Joshua. Thus says the Lord of hosts, if you will walk in my ways and keep my charge, then you shall rule my house and have charge of my courts. And I will give you the right of access among those who are standing here. Hear now, O Joshua the high priest, you and your friends who sit before you, for they are men of good omen. Behold, I will bring my servant the branch. For behold, the stone upon which I have set before Joshua, upon a single stone with seven facets, I will engrave its description, says the Lord of hosts, and I will remove the guilt of this land in a single day. In that day, says the Lord of hosts, Every one of you will invite his neighbor under his vine and under his fig tree. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. He has promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mm. 
A reading from Matthew, beginning at chapter 24, verse 45. Jesus said to his disciples, Who then is the faithful and the wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eats and drinks with the drunken, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour he does not know and will punish him and put him away with the hypocrites. Their men will weep and gnash their teeth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please stand and turn to page 96 as we profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you, let us pray. Our Father, who Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on earth earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass trespass against against us. And lead lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your shall be held among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Stir up your power, O Lord. With great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. Amen. I now welcome your intercessions and thanksgivings. For this third uh, Wednesday of Advent, let us pray according to Form 2 in the Book of Common Prayer on page 385. I invite you uh, in the silence after each bidding 
to offer your prayers and thanksgivings to God, either silently or out loud. I ask your prayers for God's people throughout the world, for our bishops, Justin, Michael, Andy, Kay, Jeff, and Hector, for this gathering and for all ministers and people, pray for the church. I ask your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. Pray for justice and peace. I pray for the work of Tyler in common. We pray for uh, law enforcement officials in our congregation, Lord, especially Scott, Trey, and Steve. I ask your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and those in prison. Pray for any need or trouble. Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit, would you remind us uh, that we are all poor, that we are all suffering, that we are all called to embrace the poverty of the gospel. Lord, we pray especially for Elizabeth, for James, for Pusey, for Libby, I ask your prayers for all those who seek God or a deeper knowledge of him. Pray that they may find and be found by him. I ask your prayers for the departed, especially for Ray and Charlotte. Pray for those who have died. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored. Pray that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. And now the general thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father, Father of all mercies, Jesus, we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness, kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.